How many how many movies, Hugh Jackman? Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Jackman has been in seven Wolverine movies. My name is RJ Sunday, feeling groovy. Coming in, man, I'm feeling so much scorn. I don't know about Hugh Jackman, but I know about Kettle Corn. Oh, talking Marvel is what we're doing. I got nothing. Classic Mel Rubin. Oh, Mel Rubin. Come on and watch it. I'm Billy Soko, and I'm wearing a wa- swatch no, kit. North Coast, <laughs> we got to last. We're hanging out here recording our podcast. podcast. Sweet Tea Studio, Peter Pan. Rufio, what's going on over here, Marco Rubio? <laughs> Marco Rubio, Billy fucking lying. Say they gotta watch on. Boy, he really trying. Oh no, I'm not lying. Oh, I'm just trying. There's no watch, I can tell you because I'm seeing them, but you do not know that because this is an audio medium. Audio oh. medium, we're doing it fast, but we're recorded to the North Coast Podcast. Podcast. Yay! Yay. Welcome, everybody, to the North Coast Podcast. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Sunday morning. Hey, yo, I'm Douglas Wydick. I'm RJ Williams. I'm, uh, oh, oh, you can go. Oh. You can go. I'm Mel Rubin. I'm Billy Soko. And I'm Dr. Brick. <gasps> Hey yo. hey yo! And we're here in the studio today with a very, very special guest. He has been on the the series finale of We Crash, <laughs> <laughs> which was the credit he requested mm-hmm. on Apple TV Plus. Plus, Plus. <laughs> which is actually they're actually crushing it that streaming service right yeah, now. We'll and uh, he's also been in the original cast of School of Rock, Ooh. the musical. Oh wow. snap! Yes, on Broadway. Give it up for Michael Hartney. Michael Hartney. Yeah, Michael Hartney. Hi, everybody. Thanks for having me. Oh, of course. Oh on this hip hop, improvised hip hop podcast. Yes, it's a hip hop improv podcast. A thing I am an expert in. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. When we, we pick- first did the podcast, we were like, first name, Michael Hartney. <laughs> <laughs> hip hop improv. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, how's it going? How are you doing, Michael? Um, I'm good. My back hurts. Yeah. I don't know if. I've told everyone in the room, <laughs> yeah, uh, multiple times. But right? Yeah, I uh, I have like a bad lower back. Oh, and I'm sorry. Today is just a rough one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I mean, based on Instagram, you've been putting in the oh, work no. lately. Oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> you've been posting yes. like the hottest thirst traps yeah. of yeah. all time. Well, you know, when when a global pandemic and a midlife crisis happens at the exact same time. Yeah. Uh, you know. You start to post some thirst traps. Right, yeah. you start to put on some muscle mass. Yeah, and, <laughs> and you look great. You're like, I see your pictures on Instagram, and like, I look at them, and like, I put a little heart on them, and then when I press a little magnifying glass to search for something else, I just have tons of pictures of shirtless men. <laughs> yeah, I'm really ruining everyone's <laughs> search. Um, the algorithm, the is comedy now community's just... search page on yeah. Instagram is fucked. I'm right pissed now. right now because I'm not getting that explore page You're action. Not. I'm explore not getting page. more hunks. Yeah. I want hunk in my explore page uh, you just gotta, gotta go to his page that. and just, just like all of his pictures all the way going back to whenever you started your instagram and then yeah you're talking about like when you hit the search button it gives you like things that based on your things that you typically see because yeah. mine when i do that is like seven tips for a healthy relationship oh. i keep getting these like they're all yeah. just like it's like motivational um tips yeah. but you were like on the dating prowl for a long time so you were yeah. probably liking a lot of that so you were feeding that into the algorithm yeah. right you know my room roommate would frequently shout out to Kyle frequently sends me like motivational quotes it was a mm-hmm. thing we did for the last few months so it's possible that it's like oh this is what you like being fed so we're just going to keep feeding you more motivation oh interesting yeah. so, so not only what you like but what other people send to I, it you it must be yeah okay yeah well Michael if I like like every single one of your posts all at once recently don't think I'm being fucking insane no I just know that your explore page you're going to want to see a bunch of thick boys with beards yeah <laughs> <Thick boys laughs> exactly <laughs> well I'm manifesting happen. a future for myself. Speaking too. of thick boys with beards, Billy, what is your secret? <laughs> <laughs> my my, what's it called? An explore page? I don't know. Uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, my when I search on Instagram, yeah. it's all conspiracy theories for the MCU. Um, <laughs> is, wait, is that all, true? That's, that's all. It's true um, because I I watch all of the different. Every time I watch a Marvel um, thing, uh, I go and I watch videos um, from like. Uh, 
um, like a Screen Crush or like um, Nerdist or like New Rock Stars, and they all just talk about like theories and like they should like they talk about the Easter eggs of like the Marvel Cinematic Universe show or movie. I don't work for Marvel. <laughs> I just say just that this is fan. what I do. Uh, yes. So um, there's a new one that just came out, right? Yeah, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Ooh. <sighs> Any strong feelings? Any hot takes on Doctor Strange? I don't know. You can't spoil it, but okay. it's just. I mean, it's. Was it good? It was. I I really enjoyed it. I like Sam Raimi. It's I and I I. It's very campy at times. Mm-hmm. So like, if you like camp, mm-hmm. um, have you ever been to camp? <laughs> yeah. Great segue. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's good. I, I enjoyed it. Yeah. I did like um Michelle Yeo's movie a little more. Oh like, yeah. Everything, uh, everywhere, everywhere, all at once. once. I still need yeah. to see it. Yeah. So wait, she stars okay. in it and wrote it? I didn't know that she also wrote she it. She did not it. write it. Oh, um, okay. Was it the but Daniels that wrote it? Yes. Yeah. Maybe. I, I and said, directed it. Yes. And directed it, yeah. Wow. yeah. A fantastic movie. Uh, Aaron, uh, who's my girlfriend, was sitting next to me. Such a range of emotions while watching it. Laughter, crying, just joy and yeah. shock all, all at once. Literally like, cried like four times. Yeah. Like wow. throughout the movie. Like it was. Jesus. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. yeah. So it's you feel good. everything everywhere in your body all at once. All at once. It all yeah, makes sense literally. now. It all makes sense. Yeah. It's a lot of sense. If you have ADHD, it's perfect for you too. Because <gasps> yeah, it's just like. Oh. Shoo, 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 okay. Shoo. I don't right. think. I'm not diagnosed with it, but I definitely think I have it. Same. Yeah. <laughs> Is that weird? I. I like, yeah. Like, uh, people will tell me their name, and five minutes later, I'll be like, all right, bye, Steven. And it's like, that's not their name. Like, cause I wake up, I'm just, like, trying to listen, but I'm very bad at it. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, okay, wait. So, speaking of explore pages, did we uncover everybody's explore page? What about yours, yeah. Dr. Brick? Oh, mine? I have to think about it. It's it's beatbox stuff. And... Yeah. And also wrestling stuff. I think RJ oh, yeah. right now. Yeah, I follow like a bunch, just a bunch of wrestlers, just to see what's happening. What's go- like, like you know, professionals like WWE, AW, all that stuff. Just like to see what's going on, people's hot takes. So Sounds whatever. like you might have a bunch of thick boys with yeah, beards on your. <laughs> 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 yeah, honestly, thick boys with beards. Thick boys with beards. Uh, thick boys with beards. Thick boys with beards. Nothing better than boys. Thick boys with beards. Thick boys with beards. <laughs> Thick boys with beers, thick boys with beers. Every morning, open up my damn Instagram. Looking over here, man, I clam up like a clam. Cause I'm seeing all these thick boys with their thick butts. And over here, making me feel like a mutt. We go and squat, squat, squat. They go and plop, plop, plop. They hurt their back, back, back. A lot, lot, lot. You know I like a man. They eating, putting in the tartar. And now you know they looking all fancy like a barber. Thick boys with beers, thick boys. Boys with beards. I'm talking about thick boys with beards. Thick boys with beards. Everybody like thick boys with beards. 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 You have no fears. This is how we do it. I know them. They are my peers. Yes. And we hang out by the piers to eat some lobster off a boat. Is it weird? Oh, thick boys with beards. Yeah, they do nothing to me. Thick boys with beards talking thick with those two C's. Yeah, I'm not trying to get all sappy, but my Discover page is like how to make your thick boy happy. Happy? Thick boys with beards. 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 Make them smile. Thick boys with beards. Thick boys with beards. Thick boys with beers, thick boys with beers. Let's hear from one. Yes, go, come on, it would be so much fun. Um, to my right, we want to hear from one. Yo. <laughs> I'm Phil. Hey. I have a beard. Hey. Is that strange? Hey. Is that weird? No. Hey. I'm big. Hey. Oh. I like to eat. Hey. I hurt my back. Oh. It made me say she. Oh. Thick boys with beards. 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 Wrestling. Thick boys with beards. Boys with beards. We out. <laughs> <laughs> so, Michael, how'd you um? How'd, oh, I'm sorry, no, 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 it's okay. How'd you hurt your back? No, th- n- it, there's no like ever inciting incident. It's okay. just 
Oh, my back decided to be a jerk today. Gotcha. Mm. Gotcha. Do you uh, sleep a particular way? Like, do you put a pillow between your knees? What is your sleep hygiene? Mm. Question. Sleep hygiene. I'm a side sleeper. Mm-hmm. Um, I do have a pillow that I like hug, mm-hmm. and then two pillows on my head. I'm a pillow boy. Okay. Now, do you pillow put boy. the two pillows over your face? Or like behind your head and sleep elevator. behind your head? Do you smother yourself? Behind, yeah, I don't smother myself. I don't like sleep with my face in my pillow. Oh, I've okay. definitely done that before. Can I ask, can I ask why not? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're right, it is weird of me. Uh, I'm a real oxygen head, insanely. Yeah, that makes sense, that makes sense. Uh, I, I like um, uh, pillow, the pillow between the legs. I'm mm-hmm. also a side sleeper, mm-hmm. and I put it between my legs because mm-hmm. I read or watched a video once where someone said, if you put a pillow between your legs, it aligns mm-hmm. your body somehow. Yeah, it helps oh. with lower back pain. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I forgot you were a <laughs> I'm a, I'm, I'm a lower back doctor. <laughs> yeah. No, I, w- I, I pull them between right? my knees. Yeah, yeah. I pull yeah. them between my knees. Yeah. I, I thought it was for be- for your knees. That's what someone. I literally heard this yesterday. Like you put it between your your knees to like help your like it's bad for your knees if you sleep on your side without a pillow. Oh. Unless I'm completely wrong. Unless because you're like too busy yeah. clickety <laughs> clacking. Yeah, probably. I don't know. I, I literally. It's all connected. Just told me that I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. I get really obsessed with like if I'm going to make a big purchase, I need to make sure that I'm making the perfect big purchase. So this happened recently with mattresses. I was like, I'm a side sleeper. And I was like, I went into a deep dive of all of like the bed in a boxes. Mm -hmm. And um, the one I got is called the Layla. It's very soft. It's meant for side sleepers. But what I like is that what your like shoulder it has like plenty of room to like really dig in. So similar to your knees, probably if you're like on a harder mattress, your knees and your shoulder probably like feel sore. So uh, if anybody's looking, I recommend the Layla. Um, oh, wow. Sponsor, oh. podcast sponsor. Is it part foam? Is it part so it's, spring? It's all memory foam. And mine is actually two sides. So there's a firm side and a soft side. So I keep oh. mine on the soft side. But if you ever like have a partner or if you change with age and like you want to switch it to the firm or the soft, you can switch it. You just wow. flip it over? You could just flip it over. Right. Yeah. Oh, it's not half and half. No, it's no, not it's, like half pepperoni, half cheese. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's fl- it, you flip the entire mattress. So you have okay. to make a choice. Okay. So did that like the sleep number bit? Yeah, sleep <laughs> number yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, you can do different yeah, yeah. sides. Yeah. So you have to find a partner who likes soft. Yeah, and, and I'm happy to say I have everybody. Yeah. yeah. So Mel yeah. recently went on a whole love journey. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mel's yeah. in love. Yeah, but this is about Michael. Uh, let's bring it back. <laughs> yeah. 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 I am. It's fine. Everything's great. That's yeah. Awesome. It's not with a thick boy with a beard, though. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> yeah. Um, it takes all kinds, right? Yeah. 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 I used to work at Bed Bath and Beyond, and <laughs> wow. at, at Bed Bath and Beyond there was hard side and there was soft side. Mm. Right, so mm-hmm. soft side was like your linens, your towels, mm-hmm. you know, stuff like that. Hard side was like kitchen, electronics, hard stuff. Hard you know stuff. I mean? Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. Hard side was always um, more fun than soft side. Soft side was very boring, just folding towels all the time. But hard yeah. side, you get to like carry stuff up and like pose on ladders, and that was really fun. Wow. Yeah, I feel like you're talking about a fictional city yeah. a little bit. <laughs> It pretty much is once you go in there. It's yeah. like it like an allegorical city. Like we here in the hard side, <laughs> you know, we're, we're all hacker, punk, it's crypto cyberpunk yeah, hackers. Cyberpunk and the soft side is like richy uppity people that live in the upper echelon with their soft towels and yeah. robes, and they're all elves. Right, a heavy-handed allegorical fictional tale. Yep, yep. Yeah, and then you go backstage into the beyond, and that's like where poverty exists. Right. Oh, no. <laughs> so real. The beyond is poverty. <laughs> <laughs> they never tell Rough. you that. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> well, Michael, we <laughs> are sending <laughs> healing, <laughs> healing energy <laughs> to your back. I'm so sorry that it doesn't feel nice. That's all right. Maybe you. it'll feel better from all the giggles and guffaws. I'm. Ar- I mean, I'm already in better spirits. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's yeah. good. I just went to the back doctor on uh, on Thursday. Wow! Uh, for my yeah, my uh, shoulder blade in between my shoulder blade, I'm having some like spine stuff in my shoulder blade Oof. area, and they say go get an MRI and go get physical therapy. So I have to do that. Oh Oof. damn! Yeah, that's way more intense than my thing. What the <laughs> hell am I talking about? <laughs> you don't need physical therapy. I mean, not at the moment. Yeah, he just doesn't make a big fucking show of yeah. it. Yeah, don't make a big fucking me. deal. Of it. Like, look, I'm a performative bitch. That's <laughs> my whole deal. 
He's um, I did go to physical bitch. therapy. <laughs> oh, what's Should up? we? Okay, a just... performative bitch. Hey. 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 He's, He's a performative bitch. bitch. He's a performative bitch. bitch. Hey, yo, yo. He's like, something in my body is not feeling right. So everybody bring me to center stage in the spotlight. I'm ready to perform and show you all my ailments. I am going to tell you everything without fail, man. Without fail, man. I'm not a mailman, but I deliver the performance of a lifetime. <laughs> Give me your eyes. Your eyes, mine. Look at me. Look at me. Oh, oh, he's a performative bitch. He's a performative bitch. He's a performative bitch. He's a performative bitch. Coming in hot with the things that I lack. I had a long walk and I could use a snack. I'm feeling really bad, like three sheets deep. I only got five and a half hours of sleep. Wah, 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 I'm white. <laughs> wah, 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 my back is tight. <laughs> wah, 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 I went for a walk. <laughs> Wah, 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 small cock. Oh, he's a performative bitch. Oh, Nothing is going right. He's a performative bitch. He's complaining because he is white. He's a performative bitch. White people be a performative bitch. Get your shit to heart me. Well, drag me to Jesus Christ. Uh, Hey, we're just taking your word. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I know. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Brilliant. my gosh. So um, what, is there anything you're working on right now that you're like super excited about? Um, it can be personal or professional or anything like that. I am writing a, a sketch show. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, right hey. Incredible. I'm writing a sketch show that uh, will star myself and Timothy Dunn. Oh my mm. gosh! Yeah. Can I pre 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 buy tickets? You can. I hope you will. Um, it is. D it's uh, disguised as a serious artistic response to the pandemic, <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> uh, but it's just us being loud and gay and stupid. That I've never cool. wanted wow. to see anything more in my whole life. Wow. Um, yeah. So I just finished the first draft yesterday. So hopefully, congratulations! Hopefully yeah. You're gonna see it on the stage real, real soon. Wow, Ooh. she ships, That's she amazing. delivers. Does it? Um, does it have a name yet? Uh, it is called. It's going to be called Hartney and Dunn, our artistic pandemic response. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> I love it. Perfect. That's a great title. How do you think Bo Burnham is gonna feel about your artistic response to the pandemic? Gosh, uh, I've never cared about anything less. <laughs> <laughs> I, even if I tried, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's awesome. That's fantastic. And are you um have you stayed in the city for the most of it or have you been going like getting becoming sane and getting out during most of this? So, um I um fled. Okay. Um I, I so I <laughs> I have a weekend house, not to be oh my so god, oh my gosh, oh. soft Truly. side. Yeah, I, <laughs> that's, I a, that's I very performative, cabin. bitch of you. It, it <laughs> is, it is performative, bitch. I can't wait for my new song, privileged <laughs> <laughs> asshole. Yeah, um, <laughs> but uh, we, my partner and I, we have a, a like a cabin in northern Jersey in the woods. Oh, fuck. and awesome. uh, you know we got COVID at the dawn of the pandemic. Oh. And we're like, well, we could spend it here in New York City in a apartment building full of people, or we could get ourselves the hell out of here. Yeah. So we did that second thing. And yeah. we lived in our weekend house full time for like 15 months or something. Wow. Whoa. Oh, that sounds so lovely. And it's even smaller than our apartment in the city. Oh. And, you know, it was... I think we did a good job with it, but like it was not a fun, obviously it was not a fun thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but it was very, we are very fortunate to have had yeah. that yeah. space. Right. There's a lot of room. You said it was in the forest, so I'm guessing there's it's like lake nearby. Were you able to go out and do a lot of There are about, seven. Whoa. Seven. Whoa. Seven lakes. Is it, is it pretty secluded? Like, is it like you have, you can 
back out and like there's nobody around. There's no, I mean, well, yes, because it was pandemic. So uh, strangely, even though like the houses are pretty close to each other, you know, you could go a long time without seeing somebody. Oh, yes. So, so nice. we'd go on long, long, long walks yeah. every day. Um, yeah, around the lake and stuff. I mean, it was. That yeah, there's peaceful. nice things about yeah. it. Yeah, Is yeah, there yeah, a part yeah. of you that's like, man, I could just, you know, teach remotely forever and stay near the Seven Lakes? No. There <laughs> isn't <laughs> even a shred of me that feels that way. That's yeah. I like, I I like the city. I like, I'm a city boy. Yeah. 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 If there's one thing the pandemic taught me, yeah. it's I'm a city boy. Right. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's very nice to be able to go there and, and um, you know, hike and. Yeah. It's uh, like your getaway. Yeah, yeah, grill out on our deck and Ooh. stuff like that. Ooh. Oh, wow. Um, you cool. know, it's also nice to like see people and yeah. do stuff. Yeah, yeah. sure. I mean, oh. got, no, no, you go. No, 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 no. Mine's, <laughs> mine's so dumb. <laughs> First is about love and relations. <laughs> no, <Yeah. laughs> Give some motivation to words. Myself. Myself. <laughs> um, I was going to say, uh, I, when I go on vacations, I like to like go hiking um, but then I'm also the same way. Like I like, all right, I'm done with the hiking now. I'm ready to go to a brewery in like the middle of the city. So I'm like, I like to have my home base in a city, but then like be have access to nature. Uh, so I'm kind of like that same way. In a way that. that makes mm-hmm. sense. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that. That's my jam. Wow. That's jam. Yeah. Fabulous. So you got a new show shipping. You got, you have your house that you go away to, to replenish and restore. Do you bring your pets with you out to the oh, country? What pets what do you, pets? Have? you have pets? I have a cat named George. Okay. It George. is the fifth anniversary. Today is the fifth anniversary of getting him. <gasps> oh, oh wow. it's, it's George's Gotcha Day. Oh it's George's God. Gotcha Day. Yeah. We sure yeah. got him. It's called oh, Gotcha yeah. Day. Yeah, wow. the day you got it, your pet. It's yeah. the Gotcha Day. Oh, the Gotcha Day? Oh, it's wow. The, it's the Gotcha Day. Oh, I didn't yeah, know Yeah, you're supposed to like that. post on your Instagram. If you take a break from posting like a shirtless picture, just like for one post, you could post a picture of your cat and say like happy <laughs> hashtag gotcha day and that's that's what you do that's so cute yeah. you know what i'm going to do exactly this you're gonna mess yeah. up rj's algorithm yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. it's yeah. gonna be a, a bunch of <laughs> 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 yeah Aww. yeah oh congratulations to you and george thanks so yeah sweet. george um does come back and forth with us to Aww. uh not only the cabin but like when we drive to my parents house in buffalo mm. oh my gosh he <laughs> is in that car for the long haul oh, and wow. he handles it well He's very good in the car. That's yeah. good. That's yeah. good. Is, uh, is George um, like an, I don't know if this is a thing. Is like a, is there a difference between like an inside cat and an outdoor cat? Are those? Yes. Yeah. He is an indoor cat. Indoor cat. Okay. He also is not supposed to be around other cats because he has FIV, which is oh. the, it's essentially feline AIDS. Oh. It's not as serious as all that, but um, it's not like human AIDS. Gotcha. But um, yeah. yeah, he's not supposed to be around other cats because... So what is so F I F I V F I V baby? <laughs> it sounds like that sounds like uh, like in vitro fertilization, but like someone with dyslexia is saying it, yes. like I V F. Like, not is that ableist to say? <laughs> I think it is. But when you said F I V, I was like, are they impregnating their cat? <laughs> Trying to have a kitten litter. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm sorry your cat can't socialize with other cats, but like our cats aren't even that social in the first place, are they? Yeah, some of them seem to be, but G- George is not even super interested like when he goes to the vet, like uh, there's, you know, the vet has like cats at it, like mm. the resident oh, cat right. of the <laughs> right. office. Yeah. And he'll like jump up onto the chair next to George's little bag that he's in, and George like couldn't care less that this cat is sniffing around the bag. Mm-hmm. Like, wow. so George, you're so interested in every human that goes by and wildly disinterested in this. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's a self preservation mechanism. Maybe. Yeah. 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 He's like, who's this new girl? <laughs> <laughs> Is he going to steal my papa's heart? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, my puppy's the same way. I mean, um, Soka's like five months old and she's so used to, like, she'll go up to humans, but if there's a dog with the human, we'll like walk around it. Or like not even give it any credence. Yeah. Um, we'll just like jump up on the on the human, mm. and then the other dog will try to sniff it, and she would just like run around it and get away from it. It's like very averse yeah. to other. I have the dogs. opposite with my dog. I have a very tiny, cute dog, yeah. uh, Milo, and 
when a human approaches me and my dog, it's as if I don't exist at all. Mm. And it's direct <laughs> beeline to the dog. And they're like, oh, my God, what is this dog? Tell me about your dog. And it might just it might be like even if it's like somebody I know very well, it's uh, Milo will always get the first greeting. And I am just uh. I'm just a vehicle to bring Milo to <laughs> yeah. to people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think the the etiquette around people handling pets that aren't theirs is something that like society as a whole is a s- slightly behind on. It's like don't touch people's dog without asking the owner. Yeah, I yes. think should be more respected. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's wild sure. to me when people like go for it. I'm like, you don't know that dog. They yeah, and people, yeah. it could literally bite into your hand yeah. right now if you don't know it. Yeah. People got to learn pet etiquette. Yeah. Pet Don't touch my dog. Don't touch my frog. Don't touch my bird. Don't touch my hog. Come up to me and ask me first. If you don't do that, you're the motherfucking worst. Don't touch my cat. Don't touch my bat. Don't touch my hat. Don't touch my ass. Don't touch anything without my consent. You dumbass bitch. You need to stop. Don't touch his tail, don't touch my snail, don't touch anything without my consent. Don't touch my dog, don't touch my hog, don't touch my frog, you already said that. Don't touch my owl, don't touch my towel, don't touch my owl, don't touch me. Touch my head, don't touch my bread, don't touch my dog in doggy's head. Don't touch my dog, more things. George's dad. Don't touch my cat. Don't touch my cat. Don't touch my dog. Don't touch my hog. I'm gonna say everything everyone already said. Pedicat. Oh, I'm here. You know when I am about to engorge. Stepping out of the car. I'm motherfucking George. I'm Michael's cat. You know I come with glee. I go to Buffalo and I also go to the New Jersey. I really love my life. Hey. And people call me Steph. Oh. But my hey. name is George and I have not IVF, FIV, uh, HIV for the feline C. And that's what I do and I hit my life with glee. Oh, oh, oh. Pedicate, 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 looking forward to or dreading coming up uh mm. maybe like in the next couple months um when a couple of we- like three weeks i'm going to mexico <gasps> oh <gasps> fun. well for the first time for the first time in my whole life wow I've never that's been amazing to wow um where are you going there and what are you doing playa del carmen so okay. we'll do beach and mayan ruins oh, and wow. food Sick. and pool and it's gonna be uh, i don't know yeah. I'm really excited. Oh, my God. That's that so amazing. fun. And are you going with Turtle? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And are you bringing George? We are not. <laughs> oh. Wait, wait, wait. Is Turtle your partner? That's correct. No further questions. <laughs> 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 and they're both beefy, gorgeous, hunky, wait, wait, bearded, wait, 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 thick You have a human daddies. partner named Turtle and a dog and a cat named George. George. I, That's right. I, I, yeah. No follow-up, so I'm all set. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Zero clarifications needed. <laughs> Uh, that sounds. I, ch- I think I it all that. checks out. Yeah, uh, yeah, I love that. So you're gonna have a lot of beach time, and you're gonna see the ruins, uh, like the which 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 ruins did you say in Mayan? The Mayan ruins. Yeah, went on, went on. like Chichen Itza or something. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. sounds like that sounds like something you'd call someone who's fun. Like you're such a little Chichen Itza. You're such a Chichen Itza. <laughs> Chichen Itza. Chichen Itza. And you'd be like. Claire, don't say that. You know that's insensitive. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, whatever. Yeah. yeah. That's, oh, that's, that's how cool. I imagine people talk. Yeah. Um, but that sounds so freaking fun, man. I've yeah. never been to like Latin America or Central America or anywhere like that. Um, how long have you been planning the trip? Uh, we're 
N- not too long. Like I think mm. we just booked it like two weeks ago. Oh, oh. nice. nice no, last week we booked it last week. Ooh. We like to. Holy uh, shit! Yeah, yeah. Oh, so you're one of those people that gets a thrill out of last minute bookings. Yes, but I'll also do like the book way in advance and like plan everything to a T. Right for mm. Disney. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> we didn't even unbox. His is that Disney. real? Are you a Disney? Oh, wait, adult? that is real. Yeah, I've yeah. seen that. Unfortunately, I am a Disney adult. Wow. I am afflicted with that, and also I am a. D- officially start that i do that i yeah. saw that i wow. saw that post um i i'm gonna reach out my Great. partner kat and i um i we went to disneyland for my birthday last year she hated disney walked into disneyland and then fell in love oh and so we want to go to disney world now i was just there beginning of april yes for the, mar- the for the, marathon it was the a disney 10 thon. no i did not run a mar- i don't want the people to get the wrong idea you it ran a two ten- marathons was- I, did not- <laughs> I remember mel was telling me she ran three marathons yeah. when she I was at disney saying, world she ran <laughs> four marathons ten, four yeah. marathons and then she ran across the united states like yeah. forrest gump yes uh, and then the, the epcot in epcot center she ran around the sphere yeah uh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hundred times. times. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Uh, wow. But yes, um, very so excited. He'll be in touch. I w- truly be in touch. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I will. I will. What do you make that ha- vacation yeah. good? Do you do, do you like plan out like the day or the weekend or like whatever the time frame is? It depends on what people want. Like sometimes it's just like just be the person who purchases the things, and then if something goes wrong, hmm. you talk to Disney, oh. not me. Uh. But sometimes it's like I'd like I'd like you to. Tell me what park to do on what day, and I mm-hmm. want you to tell me where to eat. So, like, wow. wow. So, you're a travel agent specifically for Disney? Yes, but I can do other stuff too. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Wow. I've also booked trips to Universal, for example. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Wow. But yes. I could do like cruises. I don't know. It's all that's a fun. stupid side thing Hell I'm doing. Yeah. I love it. And you're going to start getting all extra loyalty points because you'll book with your code. and then. You'll oh, get yeah, I do. I have like a code. Wow. Yeah. yeah, corporate. Yeah, look at you, Michael. That's true. That's oh, true. my yeah. gosh. All right, one insider tip for Disney to oh, send, yes. us out, send us out Holy on. Holy shit, an, an, an insider tip to Disney. Um, that you feel comfortable sharing. Yeah. That you won't get in trouble. You, you just... <laughs> If you want a restaurant, you just have to commit to refreshing constantly, and you will get it. You will get a table at the restaurant you want. You just have to commit. That's what they call the restaurant refresh. I have never once, this is true, in all my years of Disney adulthood, I've never wanted to go to a restaurant and couldn't get in. Wow. Wow. Even the top of the castle... I got, oh yeah, I totally have eaten at Cinderella's Royal <gasps> Table. That's what? correct. Um, <laughs> okay. How did you get <laughs> like, in? My buddy booked a trip refresh, this year to refresh. Disneyland and was like, I didn't book any restaurants or anything. I don't know what to do. I got him literally everything. Wow. Including wow. Blue Bayou, which is the restaurant That's inside of Pirates, Pirates of the Caribbean. Caribbean. Wow. Yes. <sighs> With like two days notice. And it's just because I relentlessly refreshed. Refreshed that restaurant. Uh, refresh the restaurant. Uh, refresh the restaurant. Uh, refresh the restaurant. Uh, do in the restaurant, you know it's true. If you want to sit at Blue Bayou, you got to do it. You know what I'm seeing? Refresh the restaurant. Caribbean. Eating, you know, it's your destiny. You got to eat at Disney. You got to eat to eat it a lot. Eat it in the circle of Epcot. What was it? Refresh the restaurant. Refresh the restaurant. Refresh the restaurant. Refresh the restaurant. <laughs> refresh the restaurant. <laughs> yeah. Refresh it doing it. Uh-huh. Or refresh it losing it. Uh-huh. I'm gonna go eating it. But I'm gonna get my lease in it. Oh, what do I do? Where is the spread? What do I eat? Turkey the leg. Oh yes, it's so delicious as I walk around. It's so good when we talk around. I want the cotton the candy. I want it cause it's so dandy. Oh yes. Give me to that refresh. Give me to the resta. I want to the ranta. Refresh the restaurant. Refresh the restaurant. Refresh the restaurant. Refresh the restaurant. No, 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 no. I want some food. Yeah, I want some food. Yo, I want some food in Epcot and in Hollywood Studio. I want some food at Universal. It's true. So I'm going to refresh the restaurant. That's what I'm going to do. He does Disney. Hey. He does cruises. Hey. Universal. Hey. You can't lose it. Hey. He got coupons. Hey. He refreshing. Hey. Travel agent. Hey. He's the best. Hey. 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 
Reverse a restaurant. Uh, reverse a restaurant. With Michael. Reverse a restaurant. Michael Hartney. Reverse a restaurant. Reverse a restaurant. Going to a beach. Reverse a restaurant. Reverse a restaurant. Reverse a restaurant. We out.